Welcome to Beer Stories. This video is about pH values, uh, how to measure them and why we measure them, and also how to adjust them. Well, basically, um, why we do this is because when we mash our grains, we want all the starches to be uh, converted to fermentable sugars. And those enzymes that do that, they work best with a pH value range of uh, 5.2 to 5.6. Pale beer, uh, they often uh, they get a better flavor or more crisp flavor with a pH about uh, around 5.2 to 5.4. And darker beers, they it suits a darker beer best with a pH uh, about 5.4 to 5.6. Yeah, so uh, how we measure this pH value is either with uh, strips that you put into your wort, but they can be a bit hard to read because the colors can fade out or get darkened by your wort. Uh, so I recommend a pH meter like this one. Just make sure that it has, uh, this one has ATC, automatic temperature compensation. Um, but just make sure they have a uh, accuracy at least at uh, 0 0.05. Um, this one has uh, 0 0.02, so that's that's pretty good. Um, and then just uh, take a sample from your beer. And this is a rule uh, in the beer industry. You have to cool your board down to uh, room temperature when measuring pH, because temperature will affect the pH. So that's, that's a rule, unless it specific says something else in the recipe. You have to take a sample out, cool it down, rinse it with cold water on the outside or something like that. Put your pH meter in there and see uh, yeah, what the value is and then maybe adjust it afterwards. But wh what I always do, I use Brewfather on my computer to uh, make all my recipes. Um, and in Brewfather, I can calculate how much lactic acid I need to add to get the right pH value. And I uh, and then I add above half, half of the, the lactic acid before mashing in. Um, and then just 10 minutes into my mash, I take a pH reading and adjust uh, the mash then. Um, yeah, just, it's just a fine tune. Um, I think that's the best way to do it uh, because the enzymes need uh, this pH value to be correct in the beginning. So I add most of the lactic acid um, in the beginning, but I don't want to overdo it. So just more, a little more than half, I add it in before my mash and then finally adjust 10 minutes into my mash. Yeah. Um, I think that was it about pH values. Um, it's not that hard. Um, it's a little thing you can do to improve your efficiency. Um, but when that's said, you have to do everything else right uh, also. So it's just a little thing, but uh, it can be a good thing if you have total control over your, your procedures. Yeah. Well, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if you have any questions at all, just write them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Other than that, just uh, have a happy brewing out there. Mm -hmm.